consider projectile trajectory with air resistance. Seat equal to 45 degrees, V0 is 40 meter per second, B divided by M equal 0 0.184 second inverse, G equal 9.8 meter per second square. And we have learned with air resistance, the trajectory equation is given by equation 1. Please find the x value such that y takes maximum value y max and find y max equal to what? Hint to find the x value and y max, you need to set up the condition dy dx equal to 0 from equation 1. Solution we have the projectile trajectory with air resistance. This is the projectile trajectory equation. That is, y is function of x. We need to set dy dx equal to 0 from trajectory curve to find y maximum, we only need to find the slope, which is the derivative dy dx equal to 0. At this point, y reaches maximum. y has two terms. This is the first term and this is the second term. The first term is just like a a factor times x. So when we take derivative, we just get the coefficient in front of x. So here. The second term is composite function of x. When we take derivative of the whole thing with respect to x, the first factor m squared g divided by b squared remains here and log bracket and we treat this bracket as new function u so it's log u and u is function of x it is 1 minus bx divided by m with 0 cosine theta so we consider this log u first so we take the derivative log u first. So it's 1 over u. So 1 minus bx divided by m with 0 cosine theta. And the time, we think this u as function of x. Then we take the derivative of u with respect to x. So it is first term is 0 minus, then it is for coefficient of this one. So b m with 0 cosine theta. So we just apply the chain rule in this case. Now, we simplify this expression as follows. We notice that here is m square, and here bottom we have m. So square disappeared, and bottom m disappeared. And the b we have here on top, and we have square. So we remove this square, and we remove this b. So the new equation is this. Now we can further simplify this expression as follows. Now, this derivative we need set up dy dx equal to 0. 
So we need require dy dx equal to zero. Then we find the x value. So when we set up dy dx zero, so we require this expression at zero. Then we move this term to the right. We move this term to the right. So we got this equation. Now we have this equation. We get from previous equation we divide by mg on the left side and right side. Now, this equation, we flip over both left term and right term. When we flip over the right term, so denominator will become on top. And this one we flip over so we get this whole thing become denominator. Now we move this term contains x on the left side and this term we move to the right. So we get this on the left side, when we move to the right, we have a minus sign. This term has a minus sign. When we move to the left, we have a plus sign. We simplify, we isolate x. So we get this expression for x. And this expression we can simplify further, we get this equation. And finally, we get x in this box equation. So x equal m divided by b times v0 cosine theta minus 1 over b squared times tangent theta divided by m squared times g plus b divided by m times v0 times cosine theta. Now we have this expression, we apply this equation to our example, to our problem. So in our example, theta equals 45 degrees, V0 is 40 meter per second. And B divided by M equals 0 0.184 second inverse. We need to substitute all these quantities into this equation to find x. The, this equation has m divided by b, but it's given b divided by m. So in that case, we need to move this m divided by b, we change to b divided by m, but we put this m on the bottom. So we put 0 0.184 on the bottom. And v0 is 40 is here, cosine 45 here. And the rest term, for example, is b square, m square. So b divided by m equals 0 0.184, so we have here square. And time tangent 45 divided by g 9.8, and plus b divided by m equals 0 0.184, we have here. And v0 is 40, and the cosine 45. We can evaluate this expression as follows. And since 
all these values are in as a unit, the final answer will be automatically will be as a unit. So x c meter. Once we find this x, we can substitute this x into the trajectory equation to find y max. So y max equal this the trajectory equation. So equal tangent theta plus mg divided by b v zero cosine theta times x plus m square g divided by b square logarithm one minus b x divided by m v zero cosine theta. So we substitute all the values into this equation. In particular, for this x, we used the x we just obtained above. So x equal to fifty three. Point three two two. So x, we use this value we just obtained. Now after evaluate all these quantities, we get y max equal to thirty point four one two in meters.